when I went to go see Place of Very Strangers, this is the second time that I saw them. This is in the part one video. This is actually the album that they were touring for. So I didn't buy this there. I bought this off of this website called Hello Merch because that's what it redirects you to from their website. The record actually came in extremely warped and I thought about throwing it in the oven or doing something crazy like that, but that figured out that's gonna ruin it. So I just squashed it between all the other records and the weight of them fixed it. It has always played, but I don't know why. Their packaging was great, but it just kind of really sucked getting it in warped. So whichever way you want to turn it. I did get Oliver Ackerman to sign it. That's what that is right there. He's a really nice guy. I was telling him about, I was asking him about the Love Reaches Out song that's on this. It reminds me of that New Order song, Face Up, and he did act like he knew what I was talking about, so I thought that was really cool. It's a really obscure song that not many people know. I would play a clip of it, but I'm not trying to get copyright cleaned. Here's what the record looks like. This weird yellow tie-dye. It's pretty straight. Now, it was super warped before. I mean, you can't tell, but it's 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 a really good one. I really like uh, Let's See Each Other and Love Reaches Out. So check that one out. You can buy it. would not recommend buying it from Hello Merch. I bought another record from them, and it was fine, but I don't really know what to do there. I mean, I guess I could have returned it, but I'm not trying to sabotage everything. This is the record I went there to buy. This is a uh, place to very strange is exploding head. See it says right there this is 13th anniversary edition and they remastered it. There's different colored vinyls you can get of this one. I don't know if this is sold on their website. If there if it was there I think it was sold out. But this is the original record from, I think, 2009 or 2010. This is an oldie but goodie. And the original pressing of it was only black. So, there it is. There's no code or anything in this one. There's them talking about it. In interviews. Here's what it looks like. One transparent red boy. I thought about having him sign this one too, but I was like, ah, just sign the newest one. See through you. Don't know why they didn't make that one see through since it's called see through you, but yeah, there's that. And they give you free stickers. They were selling a bunch of other records there. They were selling. Oliver Ackerman's distortion pedals that he makes himself and sells them through his brand, which is Death by Audio. They're very reasonably priced. I think they're like maybe $120, $150 a piece, but they're custom. If there's anything wrong with it in manufacturing, you can mail it back to them and they'll fix it for you or they'll send you a new one to tide you over. They're really good with their uh, services. There's lots of YouTube videos talking about that. Okay, this is officially part three of the vacation. We found this awesome Mexican food restaurant called Beto's. And that was probably the best we'd ever had. The steak and this nachos and margaritas and all that kind of stuff. I definitely would recommend going there. Every time I go to Texas, I try to eat at some kind of uh, independently owned Mexican food restaurant. It's not a chain. Then we also went to Secret October, which is a cool little, also independent owned goth clothing alternative punk rave store, basically. And I've been there before, but this is what I got there. Okay, here's some of the stuff that I bought at Secret October in Austin. This really cool top. It's kind of crop topish. It is Killstar. This is XL. But it's really cool. It's got the spikes. Don't hug people. The scene isn't even in there. A lot of the stuff they had was new, but last time I was there, years prior to that, the stuff was donated or was DIY. They do still have patches. They have lots of trip stuff. They have all the band t-shirts. They have corsets and stuff. 
but it's just kind of just go there and just look around and get lost. But which is really cool, so I got this. And I got this. My intention on going there was to get some trip pants so, since I can actually try them on. Since there's literally nowhere in Oklahoma that sells trip pants anymore. No, they don't sell them at Hot Topic. Here's these. This is something I've always wanted since high school. The bell-bottom black women's trip pants. You can zip them. They do have the chains. I would say they're not plastic, but they're not, they might just be coated plastic that looks metal because they don't really weigh anything, which is cool. I like this though. You can, you can change it. You can, un, you can undo that. This does have functional pockets right there and the butt pockets and that's it. I think these go for about what they normally go for, which is like a hundred, which is good if you're not trying to pay shipping and such. So all together, this was the outfit that I wore to Elysium that you'll see in the photos coming up. Here's the stickers. They have a whole bunch of free stickers you can have for free. Dion and I dressed up to go to this awesome club slash goth bar called Elysium. And while talking to the locals there, there's actually like two or three different bars or venues that are goth music and it's Nine Inch Nails and Joy Division and Susie and the Banshees and Bauhaus and Skinny Puppy and stuff like that. The DJ was really good. They're good at mixing the stuff and fading and everything. It was awesome. There was like black lights, that two different dance floors, that two different bars. Here's some of the sculptures and stuff that were on the wall. Um, the bathroom was really crazy too. Here's our awesome uh, outfits. I love the black bar stools too. It was just overall really cool vibe. I think it was like four dollars a person to get in. This wasn't a particularly busy night, but they do an '80s night every week. I think like every Saturday or something like that. So. That was really cool, which was actually the next day, but there were still plenty of people there today. I'm not going to play any of the audio that they play, because I'm definitely going to get copyright strike cl claimed. But here's here's the, here's the what's going to be on the dance floor. It looks really cool. A lot of cool people there. Cool outfits. Everybody there was really nice. I really like the atmosphere. That whole area is very, very bar-centric. And hang out is lots of hills. I'm not used to that drastic of a hill, so you can't see cars like coming until you're at the top of the hill. So it's really crazy uh, driving around at night. And it was really even more crazy. This is a Friday night, not even a Saturday, so it's probably way more packed than this. And this is already pretty good turnout of people. Lots of good dancers at this one as well. And then to end this off, here's some of the truck stop memorabilia that you could buy at Flying J and Loves and places like that. I don't know how people are shipping this stuff when it's glass, but thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, lots of cool stuff to be had. Hopefully I'll get back into the habit of doing more videos. Hopefully next year, that's my resolution. See you later.